So, have you ever wondered how the richest of the rich make their money? Do you want to make money like the richest of the rich? Today in our incredible 5 a.m. business meeting, we're going to be talking about how the richest of the rich make their money through investing. Uh, investing is a very important life skill that we all need to learn. And today, that's what we'll be teaching you. Today, we're going to learn how George Soros and Warren Buffett use this incredible skill to make millions, if not billions of dollars. Uh, today, we're going to be talking about what investing is, the different ways of investing, and then to wrap it all up, we're going to be talking about why investing is so important, especially at a young age. Investing is the process of buying an asset and hoping it goes up in value. Some people are scared to do invest because this value isn't always guaranteed to go up. Some people like to have professionals invest for them. These people are called brokers. But I've gotten some professional opinions, most notably from Mr. E. He says investing like this and getting a broker isn't a good idea. This is because he thinks brokers are stealing money from you. Uh, he recommends investing yourself because it only takes patience. He also, another person that agrees with him on this is Warren Buffett. Warren Buffett has a quote saying, uh, the stock market is a device that transfers money from the impatient to the patient. I would agree with this because all it takes is time and patience. Another important thing about investing is the idea of diversification. You want to diversify your investments so that if something bad were to happen to that category, some categories, for, for example, would be like tech or healthcare or in construction, you want to diversify it away from, like, have more than one vi vi variety of these so that you don't lose all your money. The saying, don't put your eggs all in one basket, is used quite commonly inside the investing world. Now, to minimize risk, we're going to be talking about some of the different types of investments. The, for, the ones we're going to be talking about are stocks, CDs, ETFs, and finally, crypto. Uh, stocks are the first one we're going to talk about. Stocks are little parts of companies. There's hundreds, if not thousands of companies. There's thousands or millions of parts of a company that are for sale in stocks. Now, stocks are a little bit risky because you're buying only one company. If the company were to go bankrupt, you would lose all your money. So stocks are a pretty high risk, but also high reward investment. What's not a high risk and high reward investment are CDs. Now I'm not talking about your childhood CDs that you put in like the TV. I'm talking about certificate of deposits. Certificate of deposits are loans you make to the government or company that you give them their money and they'll pay you back with interest after a certain amount of time. This is a really easy way to make money and it doesn't actually you, you don't have a chance of losing your money at all. Uh, ETFs are the next one, and Mr. these are Mr. E's favorite option. ETFs are hundreds of stocks all put together into one. They're very good for diversifying your account, like we already talked about, and they're super simple. They make medium-sized profits and aren't risky at all. If the whole stock market goes down, that's the only way you can really lose money in an ETF. Finally, we're going to be talking about crypto. Crypto is scary, and I don't really fully understand it myself because it's just so, so complex. Uh, crypto is super risky. I like to think of it sort of like gambling. If you're into that, I'd invest in it. But it can make tons of money, but it also can lose you tons of money. A good example of this is Bitcoin. Right now, it's around $60,000. $60, but a couple of weeks ago, it was at $20,000. What if you were to invest at the $60,000, and then it would go down to $20,000? You really have no idea where your money is going to go. Then the next topic we're going to talk about is investing at a young age. Investing at a young age is super important. If you start investing young, you have more time. Investopedia believes time is the most important factor in investing. Uh, this is because of the snowball effect or compound interest. With compound interest, your money makes money for you. It's a super simplistic, easy way to make money, and you don't have to do any work. I have put up an example together using calculator.net where we can see how much money you'd have to invest every month in order for you to become a millionaire at the age of 60. If you were 20 and started wanted to become a millionaire at 60, you'd have to invest $230 a month. Comparing this to at 35, you'd have to invest $940 a month. It's a big difference just because of 15 years you became lazy. It also is $170,000 more that you have to put into investing to become a millionaire at 60 
Now, that's a big deal and a lot of money you could be spending on housing, kids, or rent. Um, to wrap it up, we talked about why investing is so important. Uh, and then we learned about also how, or we learned what investing is and we learned different types of investing. We learned that brokers are stealing our money sometimes. And Mr. E thinks they're like thieves. Uh, we learned about diversification and how much how how much of a factor time is. Also, uh, thank you all for coming to this business meeting. I hope you guys didn't fall asleep, and I'll get back to work.